Let's continue on with Easy Drummer here and go to our Grooves library. Click right here, Grooves. And depending on what is all installed on your computer, you will have more or less in the left-hand main column here for your Easy Drummer libraries. Here on my laptop computer with the small solid-state drive, I'm just have a, having a few libraries installed, just enough to get by. So right here, uh, Easy Drummer 3, let's just work with that library because it comes with Easy Drummer 3. All the patterns that you'll see here in this next, next two folders will be stuff that comes with your purchase with Easy Drummer if you did decide to go th that route. I'll go to Straight because this is a straight ahead rock song, Straight 4-4. Four four. And that gives me another library of grooves here organized by tempo. Slowest tempo in BPM at the top. Fastest tempo in BPM at the bottom. All right. The BPM indicated here has nothing to do with how fast you'll hear the pattern played because it tracks to the tempo of your DAW session. So any pattern that you audition, here our session is 150 beats per minute. This was played by a drummer at beat 57 beats per minute on a drum set with MIDI triggers. Let's go to verse. Click. Audition the pattern. So even though the drummer played that at 57 BPM when it was recording, we are hearing it played back at 150 beats per minute, 150 BPM, because it tracks to the tempo of your DAW. Um, you may find or may not find that uh, grooves or, or, or grooves from the library that are tracked closer to the tempo of your uh, actual session that you're working in may provide better results. Uh, just to... Uh, go that route. I'm going to go to driving up 162 for our library choice here. And I'm going to go to a verse and just click and audition a few patterns here. So that will work. Uh, I can go ahead and drag that into my Pro Tools um, track there, my instrument track. A couple of things you, uh, as far as your views go, you may or may not be seeing the same thing I am seeing on your Easy Drummer uh, where you're working right now, and that's because you have some view options. I'm going to right click here where it says Name, and I can show the MIDI pattern, and that's Pro Tools or excuse me, Easy Drummer's way of showing you or giving you a representation of how busy or the MIDI notes are in that particular pattern. I have that had that one hid. Um, you can choose the family, the intensity, the power hand, the number of bars. Just right click up here and that will allow you to choose what you see or don't see in your browser when you're auditioning patterns. So here, click to start, click to stop. To get it into Pro Tools, simply drag and drop. Now, I've seen some people actually organize their patterns here in the Groove Pattern Builder in Easy Drummer. You can do that if you want. I, you really, It's really not what you're doing for this particular lab. In this lab, you'll be dragging them into the Easy Drummer. So I'm just going to drag that pattern up here, right to the beginning of the track. Scoot this out of the way. Command right bracket to take a look at it. And I'm going to make sure here that I drag to the beginning of the song. So critical here that I'm working in grid mode, not slip mode, and also until you really know what you're doing while you're dragging patterns in to get started, work with your grid in its largest resolution, which is the one bar resolution. Let's hear what we've got. Right. If I want the drummer to stop there instead of playing through, uh, there's nothing wrong with him playing through, but if I did want him to stop, I'm just going to have to do a little bit of editing here. So let me go to my trimmer tool, and this time I'll have to change my resolution to eighth note, and trim that bar, trim this clip, right back to the first eighth note where the band stops playing. Let's check our pattern now.
Okay. Maybe not the greatest thing in the world, but we just want to get started and learn how to drag and drop patterns from Easy Drummer into Pro Tools. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, check, get one more pattern going for our uh, verse, the second part of our verse here. Okay, a little bit busier kick drum. That's fine. Let's bring that in and drag and oops. I'm going to go ahead and hit my delete key. Just highlight that and delete. I want to go back and change my grid to one bar. Make sure I drop it right on the bar. Let's grab that again. There we go, right there. All right, other quick tip here for building a drum track. If you like that drum pattern, you want that that's what you want you like your drummer to keep playing, uh, you can always just do Command D to duplicate that pattern. Or you, the other option for that, let me Command Z to undo that. Command Z, oops. Command Z undoes that. There we go. I'm going to option, hold on my option, click and drag, and that will duplicate it as well. Okay? So either Command D or Option Drag, Option Click, op Select Option Drag will do it as well. All right? So those are the basics as far as navigating your libraries. You can go to different folders, audition different patterns, etc., etc., etc. Just drag them up into your Pro Tools track. If you need to trim them, use your trimmer tool. You may need to decrease your resolution to something less than one bar. But again, as you're dragging things in, I always suggest just stay at one bar till you really are pretty familiar with, with uh, navigating, uh, uh, dragging clip MIDI clips into Pro Tools. And of course, stay in grid mode, never slip mode, never relative, just straight ahead at grid mode. Okay? All right. We'll come back with our completed uh, drum track in the next video and learn how to uh, use the mixer feature and also print our MIDI to audio.